Again, I can explain it again if you need to. I'm just gonna give a couple of minutes for everyone to get here. Okay, seems like most of us are here. If you're just gonna run down to the uh, vehicle terminals over by uh, by me, by platoon way, I just want to invite you all to just pull whatever vehicle you want, whatever you like, doesn't matter. Here you don't spend any uh, nanites, so feel free to pull whatever you like. I'm personally just gonna pull a harasser, pull whatever you like. Is there anybody in um, this training who has never, like, created a vehicle build before, or has any questions about adding anything onto their vehicles? You can type uh, if you don't want to talk. Yeah, I don't know I what's got, good and what's not. I, yeah, I got a question. What, I've seen, there are, like, some of these vehicles that uh, you can fly around. Um, they kind of look like a Valkyrie, but you can't, like... You can put a gun on them and you can just shoot them yourself. You don't need to have a second person in there with you. They can shoot rockets and stuff. An ESF, like a like a scythe or a real like attack. Yeah, something like plane? that. Because I've tried like looking on scythes and stuff. Are you able to put rockets on scythes? Yeah, yeah, you can put rockets on scythes. You can put um, different types of rockets, anti-vehicle, anti-infantry rockets. And then also on the the Colossus tank. Yeah. That's, I would, um, I'm not going to focus much on that, it's more of an outfit vehicle, so to pull that you have to be in an outfit and then also have the resources and then the, uh, uh, the missions to pull that. Uh, what question well, The you tank have? for you guys who are not aware, like, are it's you the just big like tank trying over to think here, about we are training. What's like, good? Uh, Grouch, he's put one here. Uh, yeah, in terms it's of big, big tank, tank. Really, just turrets and big cannon, turrets. big lot of tracks on it. That's your closest tank, and that is, you can't see that on your normal terminals. So if you're wondering that is, that's on the big, uh, big terminal over by the, uh, it should be. Uh, Nick, um, one of my, one of my people had a question, they asked it on chat, they were uh, re asking for recommendations. Recommendations on what, sorry? Aggrader builds. Aggrader builds. Uh, depending on what you want, uh, I'm guessing, um, Want a uh, anti tank? That's what I, I'd assume you'd pull the micro rider for. Um, I would say uh, you want to use the. Want to use the uh, the supernova FPC, and then I would either say the uh, the halbert or the Sauron on top, so then that your passenger can also do. Um, do uh do damage to vehicles. So again, that is the the supernova FPC. That's your armor-piercing cannon. It's about a thousand certs, I believe, to uh, buy. And then also your anti-tank um, gun on top should be the halberd or the Sauron. Uh, in terms of um, abilities and stuff, uh, I would invite you to mess around what you'd like. Because there has there is some different ones like uh, I'd say just fire suppression is good for now, so you can just repair your tank from the inside. Other than that, um, I would I'd say experiment with some of the abilities. Mind if I expand on what you've said? Yeah, go for it. Yep. If you're a new player and you don't want to do all new weapons, a uh, bone stock mag rider, you could just go after reload speed on both cannons. Stick with your bass, so you stick with your main cannon and be fine that way. If you want to specialize, you can definitely use the loadout he just said as well. Um, the other way it, it is a little cheaper, and it'll put you on the same playing field for the most part. So just keep that in mind. You don't always have to get a new weapon. What you start out with is really, really good and highly adaptable. Yep. Okay. Let's move on to some um, key binds. Now, what's rolling in vehicles now? I'm just going to go over some key binds. The first key band I want to talk about is your obvious WASD. That's to move your vehicle around. You know, W to go forward, S to go back, left, right, AD. 
And then you have, you know, your obvious right click, left click, right click to zoom, and left click to shoot. Now, depending on what vehicle you're in, obviously, you know, you don't have a gun or not, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the next ability I want to talk about, your next key band, sorry, I should talk about, is the F key. Now, your F key activates your vehicle's ability. Now, depending on what you have equipped on that vehicle as an ability, it should do that ability. So, for, for an example, I have fire suppression equipped. So, if I press F, it should heal my vehicle for 15%. Now, depending on how upgraded it is and what vehicle, again, what, what ability you've equipped, it should do something different every time you press F or whatever you've equipped, it, something different. Your next key bind is B. Now B is uh, to deploy your vehicle. Now the vehicles that can be deployed is the Sundra, the Ant, and the Colossus. The Sundra is that, again, is that big bus mobile spawn unit. So to deploy it and actually make it a spawn unit, you have to press B. And that will deploy the, the vehicle and make it a spawn unit. Now for the Ant, if you press B, that will allow you to uh, start building and start um, uh, seeing the construction options. You have to hop out in this little terminal on the back and then you can see all the, um, the construction options that you can have. That's how you deploy your vehicle at B. And then the Colossus, if you press B, it sets it into a, uh, a different mode, a different combat mode. So that's B for the Colossus too. So B to deploy your vehicle. Another, another key bind is G. You press G, it should turn on your headlights. Now you could be in a dark area and you want to see, just press G, you should uh, have headlights. So that's what G is. Um, your, your very useful key to know after G is T. T should change you from third person to first person and vice versa. Now this is really good to look around corners, just having that, just having that third person view um, just gives you that a lot more of um, awareness being able to look around corners and then T again to be in your gun sight or your to see your scope. So that's T. Um, and then another key binds are the F keys. So your F1, F2, F3, F4, and so on up to F12. That's how you change seats. So if you're in a vehicle that has other seats option uh, available, if you press you know the corresponding F key. So if I want to get the second seat, I press F2. If we get third seat, F3. Now, if a person is in that seat already, and you want to, um, so let's say if someone's in my harass and they're in the gunner seat, so and I press F2 and they're already in there, they'll have a request pop up um, on the right of their screen that says, um, you know, blah 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 wants to swap seats with you, and then you can press either Y or N to accept or decline their uh, request to swap seats. So that's your F keys. Uh, the next really useful key in a vehicle is your page down key. Now if you press page down, a little menu should come up. In this menu, you have your vehicle management. This is how you set your page seat permissions. Sorry, what was that? What is page down key? It should be uh, by, your num key, uh, by your numpad, page down it should say. Over by enter, to the right of enter. Should like PGD in? Yeah, yeah. It's not doing anything for me. Not doing anything? It should, should be the default key bind. It should be in the vehicle though. It should be your vehicle. Some key you should be in the vehicle. The arrow keys. Yeah, right. Yeah, you should be in the vehicle and it should be your vehicle. Yeah. Then the page down works. You may have accidentally rebinded it if you have like a different key for it. If you use the page down key for something else. You can uh, look at your... Do them in a Colossus? Uh, uh, no, I think the Colossus still has the uh, option. All vehicles it does. do. I'm yeah, all the vehicles Never do. Try that no. one. Even the Bastion does. You need to check your uh, keybinds on your settings. Yeah, I'm looking at it. So, yeah, page down is should bring up a menu for everyone. Now, this is your seat permissions. This is how you... Um, change who can get in and uh, into your vehicle, who has access to your vehicle. So the first default permission is unlocked. What that means is anyone can get in your vehicle. Blueberries, your platoon, your squad, anyone can get in your vehicle. doesn't matter who they are. Enemies obviously cannot. 
just to keep that out there. Enemies cannot get in your vehicle. So that doesn't mean unlocked that anyone can just get in. Uh, another thing is, um, just because it says unlocked doesn't mean they can just steal your vehicle. They can't get into the driver's seat. They can just get into the gunners and the passenger seats. So just keep that in mind. So don't be worried, you know, if you leave it unlocked, you can't just run away. I don't know, change your class and it'll be gone. Some blueberry, some puppy are still in your vehicle. So don't worry about that. The next option is squad and platoon only, and that's exactly what it says. Only the people in your platoon and your squad can access your vehicle. So those people that are like now, for example, anyone in my alpha squad or in my... Yeah, the entire platoon. I just have a quick question. Um, is there a way, like, if, if the platoon redeploys... Uh to a different location. Is there a way to just leave your vehicle open for any uh, blueberry to take it? To, to uh, like, be the gunner, be the driver, sorry? No, be the driver. Because you know, you're, you're, you're fighting somewhere, your platoon gets called off to the other side of the map to take care of the TR front, and so you park your vehicle close to a bunch of puppies, blueberries, and, um, and you leave your vehicle. Is there a way to set it so they can use it? Uh, no, the only way you can do that to forfeit your vehicle is to pull another vehicle. So if you have, if you have, um, if you're on the unlocked section, that means that probably cannot take the driver's seat. It only can take the gunner and the uh, passenger seat. So to actually forfeit your vehicle or give your vehicle to the puppies, you have to pull a different vehicle. Good to know. Thank you. No worries. Uh, what is so, the name of the function in the key bindings? It should be in the, should be. I think it's just page down and even. Yep, vehicle tab page down. Vehicle management, yeah, vehicle management should be. That's what it should be labels as. So yeah, so sorry, uh, squad and platoon only is exactly what that is, only your squad and platoon can get in. Just to keep in mind, like the person just asked me, if you want someone in your squad or your platoon to drive, you can set it as platoon and squad only, and then the, someone in your squad or platoon can take over the uh, driver's seat, but not not the uh, not the puppies, not the uh, random people that are not in your squad, they cannot take over. So if you're in a squad with your friend, and you want him to drive, but you on the vehicle, if you set it to squad and platoon only, you can swap the driver's seat with your friend. So that's a good thing to, uh, to keep in mind when setting your uh, permissions to squad and platoon only. The next position, uh, the next uh, seat uh, permission is locked, and that's exactly that. It's locked. No one can get in except from you. So if you lock your vehicle, not even your platoon, not even your squad, none of your friends can get in, none of the puppies can get in. So if you're locked, it's locked. Just to you. And that's page down. Another key is your horn. X. Press X. Now, some of you might notice some people have some funky horns. Me myself have the kazoo horn as well. You know, you can use that to uh, to know maybe you know honk at one of your friends to move out the way, or I don't know, be really rude and once you kill someone, honk. You know. With some salt into the wound. Type thing I like to do that. Horn, best horn. Well horn. It's a good horn. And that's your X key for the horn. So, any questions on the key binds except from the person that couldn't figure out? I got it figured out. It was set to you a different okay. uh, page down. I have like two page downs on my, key, okay, on my good. keyboard. Yeah, it should be in there. Any questions on the key binds? Or on the keys in general? No, nothing. Okay. Uh, if anyone wants to just come up, uh, come up to Platoon Way, and just uh, kind of line up behind me. What? We're gonna just do a little mock um, armor column. What is an armor column? An armor column is usually called by your platoon lead if you're in a platoon. You know, if the enemies are push, if the enemy's pushing with a lot of armor, he might call armor, and that will form an armor column. Uh, in an armor column, there's some et etiquettes that you want to follow just to avoid further damage and just, you know, uh, just be more, uh, I don't know, just be, be more useful to your team. 
and that's all about giving each other space, all about giving each other the right amount of um, backing up space, the right amount of, you know, turning space. So when in an armor column, um, especially in a situation like on platoon way where it's a tight squeeze, you want to make sure uh, the person in front of you has enough space to back up. So if the person behind me doesn't give me enough space and I get shot, what's my first reaction? I'm going to try to back up. I'm going to try to get into cover. And if a person's behind me blocking me, that's not going to happen. And then if that person behind them is blocking, you know, someone else is blocking them, and you know, it goes on and on and on, and we're not moving anywhere. We're just going to get killed at this, at this uh, little choke point. So just um, tips when in an armor column, stay on the sides of each other. That's probably the best tip. Give each other about, I would say, a lightning's length of space between the person in front of you. Uh, another thing I want to point out is the net code on this game, as we call it. We call it client side. We call it client client side, and that is that the servers don't run very well, like network wise. So, coming from a person that has EU ping, I do not see I do not see um, what my screen shows me. So if I'm if I think I'm in front of someone or behind someone, I'm giving them the space. I'm probably not. So I like to over. I like to over exaggerate my space with the people because I don't know what they're seeing compared to what I'm seeing, and sometimes it can cause some collision uh, collision issues, and sometimes I've had it where I've just instantly died by touching someone because of collision issues and network issues. So just keep that in mind when in an armor column, just make sure you're given enough space to, depending on your ping as well. Um, so just keep that in mind when in an armor column. So I'm just gonna set some waypoints down. Ping. Oh, if you just press uh, tab. And in the bottom right corner, it should have network ping and server latency. Bottom right corner of tab, holding tab, bottom right corner. Now, the server, the, the server latency changes over the, over time. Like during the day, you know, peak hours, it's usually the worst. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going to lay down some, uh, so just, yeah, in terms of ping, just keep that in mind. So I'm just, I've just laid some uh, waypoints down. I don't know you guys can see them on your map. Uh, we're just going to do like a little mock. Uh, I'm a column, just run up this road if everyone wants to follow me. Uh, again, using the tips I just gave you, keep space from each other. Um, you know, make sure you have on the sides, behind me, just stuff like that. I'm just going to be watching you guys as you follow me. So let's get going. Again, just follow me around these roads. And we'll just have a little ride up here. Kronk, if you just want to lead the way up that way, if I want to keep, just want to keep calling that mag rider, whilst I just watch you guys and just see what you guys are doing, make sure you're giving each other space. Just keep following the road. I'm seeing a lot of spread outs, good. And then if you just want to end it there, Kronk, that's fine. If you all just want to stop at the top of this hill. Or by platoon way, if I want to stop up here. Again, you know, <laughs> avoid the terrain. The terrain is another another thing you need to watch out for. The terrain, apart from your friendlies killing you and the enemy killing you, your terrain is your next big, biggest enemy. Uh, just because you see a little bump in the road doesn't mean it can't flip you, especially in this game. The rocks are very dangerous, so keep that in mind when uh, in a vehicle. Terrain is very dangerous. Pebbles win. Pebbles win every Fucking time. Rocks. They do. They win every time. True. Just try it. Mike over there in a bag rider constantly dying to him. Yep. Playing so is it rock at the end of you? Is there any questions on the on the uh, on the mock armicon we just did? Any uh, questions on the etiquettes of the mock armicon? Anything? Okay, that's that concludes the training, guys. I just want to thank you all from uh, for uh, joining the training. I hope you learned something new.
Uh, I think a lot of people were surprised by the uh, pulling from map. I know that gets a lot of people. It's a very useful uh, yeah, that, thing that to have. That's the most useful thing I learned out of this. Completely. We have someone that learns that every single time they come yeah. to this. So it's amazing. actually pretty crazy. Veterans too. There's people I've been playing the game and they they're like, oh, didn't know. Uh, I got okay. one question about the Colossus, or rather two. The um, uh, does this thing take cordium? Yes. And when you're sitting here shooting it, it's like damaging you. Can like an engineer repair that, or is that just like gone? Yep. So the Colossus has something called the Mat Ability Mass Accelerator Drive. If you activate that and shoot, it's going to damage you each shot. If you deploy into Skylance mode, it's also going to damage you each shot. A repair bus nearby will negate it. Or if you have fire suppression, it'll heal some of the damage. Or if you just simply repair it. Um, we have a whole other training on the Colossus. And it's oh, intricacies. Really? Yep. Very okay. underutilized asset overall in planet side, But there is yeah, a separate module on it due to fashion. the complexity of it. Any of you so, recommend... Sorry, go ahead. I, I was, was going to say the accordion part powers the uh, shields on the Colossus. And can ants is... refill that? Yep, they sure can. So yeah, if you do have any questions about the Colossus, Pikachu AAA is the man to talk to, for sure. Um, just I just... Yeah, he is. Um, I just want to draw your attention to the uh, platoon chat real quick. I have posted two links. The first link uh, on above games rules is a little re comment is the um, academy feedback. So if you feel like we did a good training here, always uh, use that link to give us feedback. And if you enjoyed the training or the training was useful or if it was bad, you know, if I did it bad, let us know in that uh, feedback. And then you have the feedback form underneath that link is the SKL feedback form. That is if someone in SKL has you know, done something good, something bad, and you want to give specific feedback on them, that's the feedback form there. There are your two links. Again, the Academy one is at the top, and then the individual person feedback is on the bottom. So there are your two links if you want to give any feedback on this training or on a person in this platoon, on this training, sorry. Uh, that's about it, guys. Is is, is there's no more questions? That's it. Uh, I do have one, oh, just kind of general question. Yeah. Uh, do any of you folks have a recommendation for the best harasser gun that is like a mixture of anti-infantry and anti-vehicle? I can repair that. There really isn't one on VS. Basilisk. I like the handle boats. It's very short. Yeah, Basilisk. You're, you're right. The Bassy is good at just all around. General purpose yes. shoots at everything. Doesn't not super highly effective at anything, but not like useless at everything. It's just like a happy medium for everything. It's not like the Cobalt, where it's got one job and that's kill infantry, and that's the only thing it can do. <laughs> yep. What do you guys think of like say the Aphelion? Can you deploy your thunder so the, uh, can get back here? Basilisk. The Aphelion is high skill. Um, a lot of people don't know how to use it, but if you do get used to how it works, it's a very, very disgusting CQC uh, anti-tank weapon. How about against infantry? I mean, you can poke them. <laughs> the spread on like it's pretty this. It really is. And then uh, one last question, how about, uh, for comparison, the Bulldog, since it has lots of splash damage? Uh, Bulldog on Harassers you don't see too often, just because it neuters the crap out of your, uh, the Harassers hit and run playstyle. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm a really big fan of the Siren. It's my favorite gun on the Harasser. If you haven't used it on the harasser, so we have different. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I like the siren too. It's good. Both. It's good for long range planking. That, yeah. that is uh, yeah. very good. Uh, I like the halberd. It's very accurate. You can yeah, shoot the halberd. The, max the is halberd in the face. is a fist. It hits at all ranges and it just punches whatever it's thrown at. 
punishes you if you miss though. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yeah, it's slow firing. Saron's a little more forgiving. You can miss a shot or two and still do damage. Yeah, and I've been using the halberd. I'm trying to find something that can engage all ground targets, and I kind of think that um, in the end, the gun that does the most damage is the one that lands the most hits. So the halberd, I mean, it can hit really hard, but it seems like a lot of times, especially at longer range, uh, it's really not terribly effective. Yeah. Uh, it depends on the I think. Basically, normally you can always like count on the, uh, the the default. What was that one again? That's the best. Basilisk. Basilisk. Yeah. Also, if you're in a Sunday column, a Sunday with a whole bunch of Sundays repair Sundays, a whole bunch of basilisks, you annihilate everything. Basilisk is good, especially with the changes in the damage values of it. And it's got yeah, range. Damage, and it's got resistances they damage resistance is not. Yeah, you're right. And the uh, a lot of us are typically see a Bassi on the uh, Sunder, the um, battle tank, or the Mag Rider will have a higher actually, and the Harasser and the Ant, the other vehicles have a higher rate of fire on the Basilisk. What do you guys prefer, more ammo or faster reload? Primarily, you always want to go mag size. Yeah. Primarily. Yeah, I would say mag size. Because the amount of ammunition it typically gives you is more ammo than the time decrease will give you per second. So you get more damage per second out of the mag. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. Yeah, the reload decrease is quite minimal. minimal. <laughs> but any upgrade is better than no upgrade. Yeah, I think that's it then, guys. Oh, if you have any more questions, extra. Oh, well. every every gun's got like a one cert um, a zoom up. Uh, so it does. whatever whatever vehicle you take, whatever gun you take, always take the one cert zoom. No reason not to. It just helps. And it's one cert. Good. Yeah, thanks guys. I appreciate thanks, it. I'm going to end it there. Oh, hi, Dre. Are you here? Great. If if you guys have any more questions, um, again, just join the Ammo Academy, uh, and uh, you can ask some questions in the uh, General Ammo Academy uh, chat that we have. Hey, Nico, uh, I, got, I got one question. Go on, there's last question. This, uh, there's this uh, vehicle I've always seen around. It's this uh, Uncle H Hydrazen. What is this vehicle called? Which one, sorry? I don't know where you're at. I'm over here by, uh, by spawn. By spawn, let me get to you. Oh, that's the Chimera. That's the um, that's that's the um, NSO faction. That's the robot faction that you might uh, see running around. You have to, yeah, it's, it's a completely different factions vehicle. Their main battle tank. The NSO faction. You have to make a different character, and then it should be as an option NSO, like those robot guys. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to have a battle rank twenty to unlock it. Twenty-five. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I think it's twenty. Oh, is it twenty? Okay. Yes, yeah, so you have to have. A, a character already 25 and then it should unlock that faction for you and you can use nso vehicles and uh yeah Vani? yeah yeah so you can't use our main battle tank as nso so what replaces their main battle tank is the chimera but any other vehicle like the harasser the lightning or anything like that you can use as the nso all right i appreciate it yeah no worries okay guys i'm going to disband again if you have any more questions uh, join the Armor Academy. Uh, thank you all for joining. I hope you enjoyed. See you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.